Romans 12. For love's sake. Running a marathon is about pushing yourself physically and mentally. For one high school runner, however, competing in a cross-country race is all about pushing someone else. In every practice and meet, 14-year-old Susan Bergman pushes older brother Jeffrey in his wheelchair. When Jeffrey was 22 months old, he went into cardiac arrest, leaving him with a severe brain damage and cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy. I butcher that. Today, Susan sacrifices personal running goals so Jeffrey might compete with her. What love and sacrifice. The Apostle Paul and love and sacrifice. I'm sorry. The Apostle Paul had love and sacrifice in mind when he encouraged his readers to be devoted to one another. Romans 12. He knew that the believers in Rome were struggling with jealousy, anger, and sharp disagreements. So he encouraged them to let divine love rule their hearts. This kind of love rooted in Christ's love would fight for the highest possible good of others. <clears throat> it would be sincere and it would lead to generous sharing. Those who love this way are eager excuse me. Those who love this way are eager to consider others more worthy of honor than themselves. Be considerate. As believers in Jesus, we're running a race of love while helping others finish the race too. Hmm. Though it can be difficult, it brings honor to Jesus. So for love's sake, let's rely on him to empower us to love and serve others. What does it mean for you to love others as God loves them? How does Jesus reveal the love is more than emotion? God of love, for love's sake and your glory, help me to consider others before I consider myself. This is actually really powerful. This one here, for love's sake. Um, there's no resentment in this. We have reason to be resentful, but you kind of see, you know, uh, there's forgiveness in this. There's To do this, you have to basically, it's basically selfless. Um, but where we can do that, it's a step in the right direction. I'm going to carve this one out and save it for the, save it for later. We're going to save that one. Love you. God bless.